going on, everyone? And welcome back to another edition of Action Sunday. And since we're still in the thick of Halloween season, it's time to review a, yet another, like, action horror movie with this little gem from 1996, Vampirella. Oh, yeah. And, yes, I'm talking, with all due respect to Forrest J. Ackerman, um, uh, he, had, he, was, he was a creative genius bringing a character like this to life. Uh, well, in comics, and, of course, there's legions of fans that, out there that will like this. In fact, there's been, there's, uh, they're still going on today. Uh, Dynamite Comics has made, made a couple of them, so that's a good thing. But what about when it comes to film adaptations? Well, in all honesty, it's a hit or miss, or it's a mixed bag. But I, after seeing this movie at least twice, um... Uh, uh, I'm going to say this is not a really good film to screen, you know, how I say it's a book to screen adaptation or a comic book, if you, if you want to put it that way. Um, I mean, I've seen good ones at the moment this time, but to think about this, of all the, how I'd say, um, dark horror and dark fantasy kind of thing, things, superheroes may made this film, film from book to screen, which he had Spawn, which was Weeps and Bounce Head. This, this was just like, like, miles below it. Like, I don't know idea what, what they were thinking. It feels like Production on this was just rushed. Like I feel like, okay, and with a with a very low budget. All the, I think all these all he said was, "Hey, make my movie." That was it. Done. And what and what he, what he got was uh, pretty much a pseudo letdown. But I will praise it for one one thing: the fact that it does play the source material. I love the fact that they went so far to make the iconic costume that Van uh wears. You know, and to, to Sol Soto really rocks it. I, hey, hey, she's still she's still good. And also, like, the fact that Roger Daltrey plays the villain. Okay, that's awesome. Because, hey, if you're a fan of rock and roll and you love The Who and all that, come on. Why, why not? Um, you probably would enjoy this movie. So, uh, what can I say about Roger Daltrey um, as Vlad? He plays the villain. Um, it's a, I felt like he really embodied it. But I felt like, I think it was, he was kind of hamming it at, at, at times. But but still, pretty good, good stuff. Uh, the story-wise... Uh, it's kind of weird, but I don't want to give too much away. It's pretty much uh, if you follow these comics, you get you get where it goes. And uh, you know, she comes on the planet Dracul. Cool. Uh, she you know after Vlad escapes, uh, she makes her way to Earth, and so, you know she's trying to get him and bring him you know to avenge her father's loss. You know because her father got killed at the beginning of the movie, which now it comes something weird. It's like the pacing of this is just weird. It's like it starts off strong. It's it, it comes it's come fast, then it just starts to slow down, but then kind of picks up. But like, but but it takes a long, long time to get that get that pace back. It's like, it's like how do I say, it goes downhill, then it's like slowly building and building, and like to a, I would say the raging climax. It's a it's a crazy crazy shootout. Um, it reminds me of something out of like uh, like a western. I don't want to give much away, but when it comes to the final fight between Vampirella and Vlad, um, also I have have a feeling of deja vu. Okay, I'll explain this. So, spoilers ahead. So, uh, I want, somehow Vlad gets struck by lightning and just spontaneously combusts and he falls uh, over a ledge into the freaking Hoover Dam, which is weird. And I'm like, wait a minute, where have I seen this uh, scene before? Ah, let's, oh, I got it. Scars of Dracula. Hammer's, um, let's see, fourth uh, Dracula movie that they put out. Well, technically fifth, you want to count uh, Brad Strack, but that's a story for another day. Like, wh where are we? At the end of that movie, like literally, a uh, Dracula's gonna, gonna kill the hero with a with with a rod of iron. Somehow, a lightning bolt strikes it, and just he just spontaneously combusts. And how they killed him off was is so cheesy. And I remember it, and they did the same thing in this movie. It's like, okay, he spontaneously just combusts. He's going over the ledge. You can you can clearly tell it's a very poorly made dummy or like what's my call it? My, my God, it's like what was he thinking? Why would you rip off? And that scene from Scar's Dracula, and like seriously, and that come and kind of had had me scratch my head. I was like, okay, um, I don't know what it was to be a nod to that, or was it to just completely just oh, we couldn't think of a good way to kill him off, so we just said oh, let's just uh, let's just steal the ending from Scar's Dracula. Come on, could have picked up any way to kill off the Vlad. Hell, you could have killed, cut his head off with a freaking sword, and, and still would have been awesome. But still, what it just. Ended the way it is. It just after that, it just ends. It's like she just had, like Vampirella just has his ending monologue and it just ends. I'm like, wow. It just yeah. It's like just when you think, okay, I, um, that's it. Uh, you know, that's awesome. I want to see see more. Then it just abruptly ends. So, not much else I can say. So, uh, it was just really really weird. So, uh, yeah, if you're a fan of Vampirella, if you want to see this movie, 
I, if you want to, okay, watch with caution, because uh, where are we? Um, it was just, I, I just can't, can't bear to watch this ever again, because it's like, it's just 90s cheese, but far worse. But if you want from anything better, watch Spawn, because that's a way better than Vampirella. So if I had to give Vampirella a score, and with all due respect to Forshay Ackerman, I apologize, even though you're no longer with us, I'm going to give uh, Vampirella, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. For, for some redeeming factors, at least it's stuck to the source material. That's pretty much it, okay? So, that's it for this week. Let me know what you think. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe to my channel and stay tuned here for some more awesome videos.